Alright guys, even here an Indie Pro is finished and we have our top 5 results right here. So let's see who do we have here and yes, 5th place is Justin Rodriguez. He brought an amazing package, he came very very sharp, I'm thinking this is the best shape of him we ever saw. Um, his back, his back, his whole back side was amazing. His glutes, his uh, everything pretty much except his stomach that is, I would say a mess. Not very good stomach, but everything else was perfect. So good job, Justin. He did great this show. And who was fourth place? And yeah, as I was pretty much right with all my predictions, this one came true as well. Fourth place was Luke Sando. He came pretty, pretty soft. Not the best package of him. He downgraded his physique from Ohio to Australia and then from Australia to Indy Pro. Every time we see him, he looks worse and worse and worse. I hope he's gonna have enough time until Olympia and come better. I am honestly a huge fan of Luke and in my first prediction video I said that he's gonna win this show but I was so wrong and he disappointed us all. Third place Hassan Mostafa and uh, if that's how I pronounce his name I'm not even sure I'm just guessing here. He brought an amazing package I was honestly super surprised with what he brought. He looked great and I'm happy to see that. I always like seeing new guys, newcomers coming and making an impact to bodybuilding community and bodybuilding competitive world pretty much. Everybody likes to see that and that's what we saw tonight. This guy is a new big guy. He beat Luke Sando and Luke Sando beat Steve Kuklo. He actually beat Rolly as well and Rolly was third at the Mr. Olympia. So this guy can be top 10 at the Mr. Olympia. So everything is pretty much possible. I'm looking forward to seeing this Olympia. It's going to be super exciting. Our runner-up at Indy Pro was Akim Williams, so he brought a very, very sharp package. This is one of his best editions ever. Some people say it is his best, the best one. I'm not so sure about that, but he definitely did come ready. He came sharp, so he took second place, which is a huge achievement. And more importantly, he brought great conditioning and great package overall. And I think he will be qualified for our Mr. Olympia, so looking forward to seeing that. And let's go with the first place. So, expectedly and deservedly, Steve Kuklo was the one to take it. He brought very good conditioning. He was conditioned at the Arnold Classic Ohio. You cannot say that he wasn't. He definitely was. But this time around, he came kind of sharper and drier as well. I'm not sure what is the thing, but uh, he did have a bit deeper separation, which is something I like to see. He's not known for that, but this time he looked great. He looked very grainy, very hard, and the, the presentation was also on point. He was posing with a lot of confidence. He was a winner since the very start. Firstly, I thought Luke is gonna take it, but Luke came way, way off. Look at him here. He's basically struggling to stand. His stomach is popping also, so not the best addition of Luke and uh, one of the best additions of Steve. Maybe his best also, probably actually. So now you can watch him free pose in a, a bit faster motion though, but never mind, you can see that, that that sharpness and the conditioning and the fullness, the details, the, the, the hardness of his physique that I was talking about. So he definitely came very, very complete. His glutes were dialed in, his quads, his chest, his back, everything was on point. Last year he took 10th place at the Mr. Olympia. If he comes like this once again, and if you guys come a little bit off, he can place higher, he can maybe even crack the top 6, but we'll see what happens when the time comes. Anyways, this is all for this video guys and for today, I'm finally gonna go to sleep, it's very late here in Serbia. So thank you very much for following and I hope you appreciate this coverage that I did about Indie Pro. If you want to see more like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best guys, bye bye.